Hey everyone, it's John again, and I want to show you the latest version of Dashcam Viewer. This is version 1.61, and I want to show you something a little different this time. I added a new feature to make it compatible with the uh, GoPro videos recorded from uh, Phantom 2, DJI Phantom 2 quadcopter, using GPS data collected with a Flytrex core. And if you have a Flytrex core on your uh, Phantom 2 quadcopter, you can use Dashcam Viewer to play the video from your quadcopter synced up to the telemetry data fed from the Flytrex. So here's how it works. First of all, I have a video here from my, my quadcopter. I renamed it just to, to give it an, a good name, Hollywood One, because it was near the Hollywood sign. So what I do is I go get my Flytrex data and so here's my Flytrex account, and I click on here and say this is the particular flight. I say uh, export mission, download a CSV. Okay, so that'll convert the mission, which you've already uploaded, into CSV format. So give it a second. Should produce the CSV file into your downloads directory. There it goes. So let me get rid of this. Go to my downloads. Okay, there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and move it into this same folder as my GoPro video from uh, my, my quadcopter. Now the trick is to rename it the exact same name as the movie. So I'm going to call it Hollywood1.csv. So now I have Hollywood1.mp4, Hollywood1.csv. I run Dashcam Viewer, and I'll go to the open a single file, open a single movie, or basically it's open files instead of open a folder. So I go here and I see there's my Hollywood one. Go ahead and load it. Okay, and here it is. So here's my flight quadcopter. A little volume there. Okay, so this was in Hollywood and. We wanted to fly up to the Hollywood sign. A couple things you notice. Uh, first of all, is in the map view, we see our route that, that the quadcopter took for this particular flight. One thing that uh, you notice is I'm moving now, but it's not moving here. So there's a synchronization problem. And that's typically, uh, that'll happen if you, know, you start the quadcopter at a different time than you start your GoPro. And to fix that, you just have to compensate for it. Now, this particular video, I know that I, I click on the uh, preferences, and I happen to know that it was um, actually two minutes that I transpired. So I'm going to add two minutes here, make it 505. And looking now back at my, uh, let me get rid of this preferences window, look at my map. I'm synced up. So here I am going up toward the Hollywood sign. Up here in the top data view, you can see our current speed. Now we're just going up. You can see our altitudes going up here. The altitudes carried over from the Flytrex data. The number of satellites in view is 11. There's my latitude, longitude, and this is my bearing, what direction I'm heading. Here's how far I've traveled. Clock is over here. And uh, there's a the Hollywood sign. I'm going to go ahead and move it up a little bit. Okay, so you, know, you can see the Hollywood sign here as well. See how close I was, and near which letter, etc. On the uh, on the on the map side, a couple things I'll show you. Maybe you didn't know you could do is uh, you can zoom in, and I can even while I'm playing, I can see this guy, these guys here. There's some people here walking. There's some people up here. You see them? Kind of get a, a zoomed-in view from the GoPro video in Dashcam Viewer. They can zoom it out, move it around. Uh, to get everything back to normal, just click this button here. Okay, and that fills the screen. And there's preferences for either uh, uh, filling the screen, or is the aspect ratio. I can maintain the aspect ratio or fill the screen, which is how I like to have it. Okay, down here are the graphs showing uh, speed, distance, travel, bearing, changes in bearing or direction. Here's the altitude graph and the number of sats in view, which was pretty pretty constant. 
you know, at about 12, 11 or 12. Uh, a couple other things I want to show you. If you click on this little arrow here and say get weather, it'll tell me what the uh, high and low was of that particular day at that location, 62 degrees Fahrenheit high, 36 degrees Fahrenheit low. You could switch units here to kilometers per hour. There's another way to switch this to Celsius if you'd like that. Okay, I'll go back. And if you click on this again, you get a little calendar. It tells you this was the done on Saturday the 3rd. Okay, and that was this flight. You, know, you can scroll through it. The map updates shows you where you were. Here I was heading toward Griffith Observatory, which you can see I didn't quite make it to Griffith Observatory. And then coming back toward the Hollywood sign. And there, there are uh, map controls here. You can switch to road map, which is it's now. You can go to satellite or auto, which you'll switch between road map or satellite, depending on your distance uh, of zoom. So I'm just putting it in satellite. Some interesting terrain here. Again, I'm heading back. This is my start point. Heading back toward the Hollywood sign. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching.